Two missions with the same goal, learning more about the bigger picture. NASA, later this week, will launch two separate missions using the same rocket. Sphere X will dive into the origins of our universe. Punch will teach us more about the sun. Joining us live right now is Dr. Joe Westlake to talk more about this. He's the NASA Director of Heliophysics. And what makes you most excited for about this launch? Yeah, thank you so much, Joe, and thanks for having me. I am really excited about the Punch and Sphere X launch. You know, this is, is an example of NASA delivering every second of every minute of every day amazing science that is going to really bring revolutionary information about our sun, its connection to the Earth with the Punch mission, and, you know, the wide expanse of stars and galaxies out in the, out in the universe with Sphere X. The data that's going to be gathered will be amazing. And how is that going to help us understand better the, the bigger cosmic picture? Yeah, so I could talk a lot about the punch uh, picture. It's amazing to think about the sun and its connection to the Earth, right? You all probably experienced uh, uh, the total solar eclipse that happened in uh, April of last year and the auroras that happened, even down to Cedar Rapids, the auroras that we're seeing in the last year. And that is witnessing the suns, the solar wind, and its effect on the Earth, the space weather, the things that we see here on the Earth. And punch actually observes those particles as they come from the sun to the earth. And you can see that solar wind the whole way through. You also mentioned eclipse. Punch will create artificial eclipses to the sun. Can you explain that? Yeah, we do this, this trick. It's called a coronagraph. And what it does is it blocks out the light of the sun. And I mean, you can do that all the time with your, with your own, you know, put a thumb on the sun and block out that, that the light of the sun. But punch does it in a very precise way so that you can get as close as possible to the upper atmosphere of the sun and see the gases as they come off of the sun. And so that coronagraph creates this amazing eclipse. You mentioned also that the sun is at a bit of a heightened activity right now. Um, what is it like to have punch there during this time? Oh gosh, it's just the perfect time to have punch there, right? With the solar activity, you know, every 11 years, we get a rise in the solar activity. The sun flows in this sort of magnetic cycle. So every 11 years, we go from solar maximum to solar minimum. Right now, we're at the peak of solar maximum. We're seeing the most sunspots, the most activity. And as you may have seen uh, across the US in May and in October, we saw aurora all the way down you know, to the southern latitudes in the US. In fact, I think in Cedar Rapids, in that area, folks were reporting red aurora across the, across the plains there. Really just amazing. And so being able to see that and being able to have Punch's connection to the Earth during this time of Solar Max, it's just amazing. If people want to learn more about the missions, where can they find out more? Yeah, so you can learn more about Punch from nasa.gov slash punch, and you can learn more about SphereX from nasa.gov slash SphereX. Make sure you check out that site. Watch for the launch as well. Dr. Joe Westlake, thank you very much for joining us, and good luck on the mission.